what what I look at is a three step process, um, mm -hmm. and I'll break it down for you. So the first step for you would be to set up your LLC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first step is set up a LLC. So that's essentially setting up the business legally. So yeah, of course. Start operating. Yeah. Uh -huh. The second bit would be to make sure you have insurance for the business. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So the insurance will obviously cover you if there's an accident with any players you're you're training. Um, obviously, out in the United States, it's very, it's very important insurance. Okay. Right. Um. You should, I mean, you're based in Florida, so you should, it shouldn't be an issue to find, you shouldn't really need indoor space because you, you guys have got no. quite good weather. No, I don't need that. No. Um, so the second bit would be insurance. And then the third thing I look at is location. Okay. Right? Do you have a steady location that you can train your clients out of? Yeah, yeah. I have several, several, uh, um, several feel that I'm, right. that I'm, that I'm targeting, that I'm trying to yeah. trigger. And right. yes, I will find that once I have my, my, you know, LLC, I, this yeah. will be my office, my business, then I'm going to target couple space because there's a city, the city that where I live, mm -hmm. they have a lot of field that not using just for American football, yeah. which I can have sometimes to do some soccer for the kids in the afternoon or weekends as well. Okay, good. Um, what I would look at as well, make sure that if you're using the location, you don't need a permit because I know that's something a lot of trainers in the United States, they struggle with because a lot of the local parks they have, uh, they need permits in order to use them. Okay, that's so, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just make sure that whatever location you use, you don't need a permit and you can use it. Um, pretty much it's available when you want to do your training. Thank you.